we're definitely aware of the strength of their offensive line. I mean, I think that's something that's been consistent with them for the past few years now. Um, and definitely something that they pride themselves on. Uh, but for us as well, defense and getting pressure uh, with the defensive line, some of the blitzes and things like that has always got to be a part of our game plan. Desmond, is there anything you're doing defensively that surprises you? I mean, do you look at any stats that say 41 straight possessions or whatever it is, the outscoring, is there anything that opens your eyes? And I keep hearing these stats, but I don't really, I don't really look at them too much. Um, you know, for us, it's just knowing that we can go out and execute on Saturday what we're putting in Tuesday uh, through Friday. Uh, we see it going on film. We make clean up mistakes as the week goes on. Um, and then just seeing it kind of transpire into execution on, on Saturday is what we like to what we like to see, actually. What kind of things have you been hearing from old high school teammates in Michigan State grass and that kind of thing the past year? Um, you know, not, nothing too absurd. I mean, a lot of them are close friends that, are, you know, aren't going to try to rub your face in it too much or anything like that. Um, but, you know, you're definitely aware of, of the game and, you know, the way it has gone the year before or something like that. Um, but, you know, I know a lot of people are excited about the game on Saturday, so that's a good thing. I'll ask you real quick about Jordan, too. It seems like a very uh, calm guy, at least when we talk to him, and how much we're Is that his personality, or is he different on the field in the locker room? Yeah, no, he's kind of always laid back a little bit. Um, I always call it, He always gets fired up on Tuesdays for some reason out of nowhere. Uh, he always kind of, you know, be out there yelling on Tuesdays, and I'm like, what, what are you yelling on Tuesday for? Um, but... Um, you know, he, he's kind of always got kind of that laid-back mentality a little bit. Can you, I mean, it's not your position, but can you put into words how well he's playing? Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's doing a great job. I think uh, he's putting a lot of work, you know, off the field as well with some of the film and stuff like that and uh, working with the DB coaches to really hone in on some of the tendencies, um, you know, and kind of get some of those quarterbacks, what the quarterback's thinking on the other side of the ball. Uh, but he, he's playing really well right now. Right, so I think I have to ask, have you thought at all about the whole it's, controversy it's last year about the stake before the game and that? To be honest, I wasn't there. Um, you know, I had my redshirt medical year, so I didn't travel. Uh, so I wasn't a part of it. I didn't hear the pregame message or anything like that. Um, so my knowledge of it is very limited. What about their reaction and their touchdown in the final minutes and then the way they kind of took umbrage at, about it after the game? Yeah, I mean, I kind of read some of the stuff uh, online and some of the media reports, uh, but again, you know, I, I wasn't there for it, uh, so it was kind of hard for me to comment on it. Were you warned not to say anything controversial today, anything to tick them off? Um, you know, I think that's always kind of the message. Don't say anything too controversial. It gets your name uh, too high up in the headlines, but, um, you know, it's, it's just a, it's a big game. You know, we're excited for it.